The first time I saw Goro in the first Mortal Kombat, I said, whoa, that's a scary dude and he's got four arms to attack you with. His primitive roars and growls made sense because he's a monster and he's big. Obviously, it fit the character. <laughs> Then the shitty ass 1995 movie comes out and they decide to overdo his voice. And boy oh boy does he sound f***ing stupid. Is it time? Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> rah, 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 yeah, yeah, okay, anyway, you was better off giving this guy no lines at all. I'm just saying, just because the monster's big doesn't mean he has to sound like a f***ing Neanderthal. Take Beast from the Marvel Universe or Bane from the Batman comics. Both really big guys, but also very intelligent. This bomb is mobile, and the identity of the Trigger Man... Alright, alright, let's pretend the Dark Knight Rises never happened. There were audio issues and Nolan thought he was fixing them. But as a child and a fan of the 2D Mortal Kombat games, I knew the film was going to be absolute shit, and hearing Goro, along with many other theatrical flaws, only further solidified my utter disappointment in the movie. Yeah, yeah, I heard you the other 20 times, you big doofus. Just shut the f*** up already. This puny mortal will be no problem. You imbecile! Your voice sounds stupid!